Today is one heck of a day for mods and farming simulator. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I have 44 mods for you guys. We've got two mods and 42 seasons geos. We got a lot to talk about. Let's jump into it. First up today, we have the Hauer Snow Pack. So these are snow removal tools from Hauer. Spread salt to remove small layers of snow. Salt does not work on deep snow. And make sure you use the plow to remove any amount of snow. So let's start with the piece on the back. This is the salt spreader. It's the only thing that it will do. It will spread salt. It will only work on one layer of snow. As a matter of fact, I don't think we've got one layer of snow anywhere here on Lone Oak. So we may be out of luck on this one. <laughs> I'll just try to show you guys anyway. And then we have the Hauer Snowplow with adjustable blade. This is cool. The animation on this is absolutely amazing. Let's jump in. Let's check about the out in the store. Where are you going to find these? Well, you're going to go into tools. You're going to go into miscellaneous. And then you're going to find both of them right here. The TS215 and the SRS3. These are mods by Giant Software and Realismus Modding together. So that is really cool. No customization on either one of these. So do keep that in mind. Now, in order to use the salt spreader, we need salt. Where are you going to find that? It is going to be found in objects. It's going to be found in big bags. You're going to go all the way to the end. Road salt right here, 1,000 liters. Let's get one. Now, salt works just like solid fertilizer does. You pull up to it and then press down on left stick and it is going to fill up. Now, of course, this will hold 1,500 liters and we only have 1,000 liters right here. So that is okay. Let's turn a help on you own so you can see what's going on. We can turn on the salt spreader. Now, this isn't going to spread salt very quickly. And as you can see, well, it didn't do anything. We are creating snow tracks, so that's kind of cool. But it's not doing anything. Why is it not doing anything? Well, because there's about two, maybe three layers of snow down. I've got snowy lands turned on. And so we've got that issue there. Now, if I do go in and we go down here to snow tracks, uh, we can actually take snow mode on. Let's see. The only thing is snow layers... I don't see that on anywhere. So, looks like we cannot control how many layers of snow there are. Used to, you could control that. Can't do that anymore. So, looks like the salt spreading is going to be out of luck. But <laughs> it works the same. Just find an area with a small amount of, of uh, snow. You guys can get rid of it with salt. Perfectly fine. There is no way to preemptively put down salt and it won't snow in that spot. So just keep that in mind as well. Now here we have a road that needs to be snow plowed. So it is time. Let's go ahead and take this guy. We're going to drop it down and then I'm going to press. Let's see. I should probably maneuver it beforehand. So we're going to take it. There we go. And let's go put it down. Don't turn on the salt. There's no reason to turn on salt. So one thing I noticed, and I don't know why it does this, but the salt spreader goes all the way down. Whatever reason, I don't know the reason, but hey, as long as it works, it works. Let's get some snow done. So I'm going to set this cruise to around three miles an hour. Um, I think it could go a little bit faster than that, but I've found three miles an hour works perfectly fine. Plus, you're not going to be going too fast when you're doing snow plowing anyway. Now, depending on how deep your snow is, is going to depend on how well this works. Uh, we can turn on our salt sprayer. You can see from the back, some of the snow is melting because it's got one layer of snow there. I don't recommend that you run snow plow with the salt spreader on, but look at that animation. Is that not just cool or what? So that that's it right there, the, super easy. And then what we could do, is we can actually lift it up but if we've still got snow that is in that realm it's still gonna push that snow so do keep that in mind regardless if it's up or down if the snow is deep enough it's gonna work so let's put it back down and then we'll run through here and you can see it's kind of pushing it off to our right just a little bit 
Now what happens if we get in here and we turn it all of a sudden? Well now, it's going to take all that snow and it's going to push it to our left. Now I said before, you can go faster. Uh, we are we are pushing some speed right now for sure. Let's go ahead and get that guy covered up right there. But you can see some of it's working, some of it's not. Even if we turn on the salt spreader, not all of it is going away. But if we set it to that three miles an hour, you may be able to go a little bit faster. It will get it all. So that is going to be the way you do it. Now, that is for the the plow, snow plow. What about the snow blower? Next, we have the NMC 320H Pro snow blower. This right here is by North Modding Company. It is amazing. It's been out for PC for a long time now, and it is finally here on console. We've got the update. Let's check it out. So. We're going to find this in the store. This is going to be found in tools. It's going to be found in miscellaneous where the other snow removal stuff is as well. And we're going to bump over to it. It's going to be right here. Hard to miss. Well, even though I missed it. Right here it is. Three meter wide, nine mile per hour working speed. Main color. We could change this to whatever we want. Uh, we go with a greed. There you go. We have two different attachers. Three point and wheel loader. Which means that you could use this with a wheel loader around your farm if you guys have a wheel loader and maybe you don't want to get out a tractor for whatever reason, this will work with the front end of a wheel loader. Very cool there. It's not going to cost you any more. It's 8,050 bucks. Actually, it's a little bit cheaper than that. 7950 without the color option as well on there. So this works, well, exactly the same, just with a few other options. Well, I gotta be honest with you, I am trying and trying and trying to get this darn thing to work. Uh, I own all the land, I've got everything, it's all good. I mean, look at this, it's all green. And uh, I've done everything that it says to do. And nada. Doesn't, just doesn't work. So, this used to work on PC. Got an update for console release. Now it doesn't work. Can, can we talk about this? I feel like this needs to be addressed. I feel like this should be working right now. I've tried everything. I've tried overloading. I've tried to buttons that don't exist with this darn thing. I have tried using and just unfortunately, nothing is working for me. Maybe it'll work for you, but I know that there are some things broken about the new update. And I think this is just adding to those. Along with the mod of Seasons and as well as the Snowblower and the Snowplow mods, we also got 42 Seasons Geos today. We got Geo Snowy Lands, Wales, Herefordshire, Montana, Poland, Denmark, South Bohemia, Oregon, Nord Italy, Tyrol, Austria, Hampshire, Upper Austria, Brune, Switzerland, Republic of Austria, Brittany, France, France, Cork, Bavaria, Central Italy, Södermanland, Sweden, Schönköping, Sweden, Geiselberg, Scotland, Central Europe Simplified. This right here is super easy, super simple. You can do everything anytime you want. Northern Sweden, Slovakia, Shelby, Montana, Germany, Baltic Sea, Rugen, Belgium, Trinidad of Italy, Romania, Germany, Upper Bavaria, Australia, Queensland, Southern Italy, US Midwest Geo. This is my favorite one right here. You could double crop with no issues whatsoever. North Trondelag, Shropshire, Saxony Hills, Minnesota, USA, and South Moravia. All of these are now available on console. Seasons Geos are not to be used independently. So what I mean by that is don't set up a Seasons Geo, for example, Snowy Lands and not install Seasons. You need to have both of them running at the same time in order for them to work because the Seasons Geo are an enhancement to the Seasons mod itself. So your base game Seasons is based somewhere in the UK it gives you all four seasons nice and easy. However, if you throw in a Geo, for example, the US Midwest Geo, what it does is it overrides some functions of that seasons mod. So for example, you're changing up the way you're planting, you're changing up the uh, temperature outside at certain times. So it's changing certain things and certain aspects of the mod to make it seem like you're somewhere else. But really, it's just changing a bunch or changing some code in seasons itself. That's why if you're going to use the Seasons Geo, you need to have Seasons installed as well. Furthermore, I highly recommend that you guys use Seasons with a Seasons Geo at the start of a new game save. Um, I 
it will work to an extent if you decide, you know, oh, I don't want to use this Geo anymore. I want to use just base game seasons or vice versa. Or maybe you want to change Geos in the middle of a Let's Play. You could try it, go for it, see how it works for you. Sometimes it works without flaw. Sometimes it's a bit of an issue. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like. Get subscribed to the channel. If you guys are new around here, turn those notification bells on so that you never miss a video here on the channel. With all that being said, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.